We're inside the couch now. We're gonna go over different options in here. So you have your slide in, out. And you just wait until that stops and then you release the button. You don't wanna hold anything too long. Same thing with the awning. Extend a little bit, retract. Once it stops, it stops. It's okay to push that button a couple of times to make sure it's in. Up here, you have slide light. If you're gonna look over there, it's gonna turn blue. Okay. You have a light on the outside and the back side in the other video. You have an auxiliary light and an awning light, which is right under the awning. The man lights are gonna be in here. And you have a water pump switch. Now the water heater switch in here, if you can remember, is just the gas to operate the electric that's out on the tank. Battery voltage, so it's gonna look low right now because we have a bunch of lights on. And that's basically covers the panel. Okay. Some of these lights are push button right in the center of them, not connected to the man light. And you'll find those throughout the code. Coming over here, you're gonna lift and lift one more time. And that's how you're gonna open. If you notice this tilted a little further into you, it's okay to lift this up and let it go fall back further. That way it's away from the flame. You don't want that glass breaking. Okay. When you're lighting, turn this to high and turn it on. You see that flame just lit there. Okay. Oven, however, you're gonna main or the oven, however, there's a pilot. It doesn't completely light the oven right away. So when you turn this to pilot, which is this little flame here, you're gonna push and hold that. As you're holding that, you're going to click this until it lights that pilot. Once that pilot's lit, you're good to go, and then you can turn it. Turn it off, pilot goes out. Turn it like this. Right now, it's not lit. It will not release gas. So that's kind of a safety feature. There is a light switch here, which operates these. It's also the oven light itself. Above that, you'll find a light and a fan. 12 volt settings. Pop it in the microwave. It's basically a microwave. Express cook is the first six buttons. That's one minute to six minutes. That's immediately gonna start that way. This refrigerator is has a designated battery and solar panel just for it. That way this thing operates all the time. Not, there's no controls besides the one inside here. If you look up in the top right, you're gonna find the cool setting. And as you turn it to the right side, it will get colder, left side warmer, so on and so forth. Pick and choose as you go what setting you like the most. Down here, you'll find breakers and fuses, all labeled for your convenience. And one last thing in this little area, all customers get this sheet that says to inspect all cylinders every 90 days, so on and so forth. That's just some basic maintenance that you have to do as a customer. That way you keep your unit in up shape. With the thermostat here, you hit mode button, and these are not push buttons. I'm just touching them with my finger. I'm not pushing. You have auto fan, auto cool, auto furnace, and then off. To change the temperature, you're just going up and down. If you just swipe it when it's active, it will give you the inside temperature at the time. I'm gonna have you go this way. As you walk in here, the lights kind of kicked on. There's a motion sensor in here to turn that on. Okay, so on the back of this toilet there is a little diagram, but it's really hard to decipher unless somebody tells you. There's a little pedal on the right side. Halfway down on the pedal adds water to the bowl. All the way down is flush. Otherwise, you have a pretty standard shower. Not a whole lot going on there to know. Uh, one thing you do really need to know is that this table folds down, and you're going to want to fold that down for travel. Okay, It's not on this side. It will be on the other side. Okay, So... Here like this. I'm going to go to the other side. There's a little latch with a handle on it. I lay here, flip the latch, okay? It's right here. It has a yellow button. And just pull it towards me. You get on this side of it. I'm just going to step on the foot and pull it towards me. And it's going to drop down pretty quickly, actually. So you want to hold it. All right. Once it's down, you move the cushions out of the way and put them on the boards. And that's where you're going to store it for travel. Coming back up, it's actually easier to set this down on its side. If you come around to the side here, you're going to pull, and that's where you're going to find that yellow latch. And that'll be all.